Hey guys, um, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm really sorry for um, not uploading the last two days. I've been sick. I've been really sick. <clears throat> I've been sick and tired. I've been sick and I've been tired of all these Toxicroak man. Toxicroak is everywhere that I look. I see it in my dreams, while I sleep, while I eat, while I shower. Toxicroak, mud bombs, bombs of mud everywhere. <sighs> but I'm feeling a lot better, because we got the best Toxicroak counters coming right now. Boom. Alright, so yeah, you heard it. We're here to see what the best Toxicroak counter is for the Twilight Cup, yo. Okay, what is up with Toxicroak? Let's look over here and see. It's gonna be poison and fighting type, which makes it vulnerable to ground, vulnerable to flying, and two times vulnerability to psychic type. And the great thing about Toxicroak is it has Mud Bomb. It's a ground move that's three bar charges is three bars, yo. And what's great about that is there's Pokemon like Alolan Muck and Skun Tank, Skun Tank, not Stun Tank, Skun Tank, and Drapion. And those Pokemon are going to be Poison and Dark. And that makes them only have one weakness, which is Ground. So there's only a few Pokemon that are viable that have Ground moves. So Toxicroak is one of the best one of those Pokemon. So Toxicroak is gonna be on a lot of teams during the Twilight Cup, so you're gonna be seeing a lot of them. So we're gonna sit here and we're gonna focus on that two times vulnerability to Psychic. And we're gonna see what the best counter is to Toxicroak to help out your team. So we got three Pokemon that we're gonna test out that I think are the best three counters for Toxicroak. If anyone has another suggestion, please let me know if there's someone that I missed. But those Pokemon are gonna be right here. We have Guardavar. Guardavar is Psychic and Fairy type. It is vulnerable to Ghost, Poison, and Steel. And it has Confusion, which is a great move for going against Toxicroak. That two times vulnerability to Psychic with how powerful Confusion is, is amazing. Yeah, it's so much damage and you get the stab bonus with the Guardavar. You also have Venomoth, who also has Confusion. It is going to be Bug and Poison type. It is going to be vulnerable to way more, uh, not way more, a little more than Guardavar. It is going to be uh, vulnerable to Flying, Rock, Fairy, and no, not fairy, fire and psychic. And you're gonna wanna have like confusion and bug buzz on it. Maybe confusion, bug buzz, and psychic is what I'm thinking about. And yeah, going back to Guardivar, I have Dazzling Gleam and Shadow Ball as my charge moves for Guardivar. And yeah, it's gonna be great coverage for this cup um, with those two moves. So yeah, I think for Venomoth, I'd wanna run bug buzz and psychic. I see Silverwind um, on. Um, the Go Ranger as a really good looking move, but I imagine since I haven't heard anyone talk about it that it's Legacy or something. So I'm gonna assume that Silver Wind is Legacy. If not, I feel like that'd be a really great move. So, anyways, um, yeah, Venomoth is really great too with that confusion. Then we have a Lola Nine Tails, and Lola Nine Tails is gonna be Ice and Fairy type, and it's gonna be vulnerable to Rock, two times vulnerability to Steel, and one time to fire and then poison. All of this, by the way, that we're looking at is off the Go Ranger app. Make sure that you go and download that and then also subscribe to Go Ranger Met. And yeah, we have Powder Snow because it gets like a lot of energy. It gets four as compared to three and then I think it's like 2.5 or something for the other one. But it gets a lot of energy and it's not um, resisted by any of the like prominent Pokemon in this, uh, in this cup except for like Houndor. Houndoom, you know, you got Houndoom, and you got Azumarill and Sharpedo that'll resist a little bit, and then you got like uh, Mawile. Uh, but anyways, then we got Psyshock, which is a three bar charge move that is Psychic. So yeah, we're gonna test those three Pokemon. Um, basically, we're gonna be, you know, using that Psychic two times vulnerability to see which one is the very best Toxic Crow counter for the Twilight Cup. So here we go. The first one we are bringing up is the Alolan Ninetales. Shout out to Dozer, my guy, for coming over here. So let's look and see how he fares. We're not gonna count the quick moves 
on a lower nine tails, but that's like, we'll try like, that's like four or five or six, about seven, about eight, and Tox Croak's gonna get the mud bomb off first here, you see? And then, so we're gonna go ahead and shield that. We're doing two shields um, during this simulation that both the Toxic Croak and um, the nine tails, and my Pokemon are supposed to be running two shields. Um, so there we go, we did our Psy Shock, and it was blocked, and here we go. So now we're gonna use our other shield. Did I even use my shield? Let's see. Let's, did I, I, I think I used it, but now we're gonna use our side shock, and he's actually gonna let me hit him here, which is probably good because he was gonna beat us if he used his second shield. Yeah, I did use my second shield, so I had to use two shields, and he didn't use his second shield. But if he would use his second shield, he would have beat us. So you see there how long that took. I'm not gonna time it out because I don't need to because we're gonna get right into the next one, and you're gonna see just how much quicker. Um, this Venomoth is, and I was watching um, Purple Kyogre, and um, yeah, saw him talking about Venomoth. I'm watching P Purple Kyogre and Gemma Banks, are two great um, PvP YouTubers. That, oh, went to the wrong video. So while I'm still talking about that, two great um, YouTubers that um, are covering Pokemon Go PvP. So here we go. Let's count the fast moves on this Venomoth. One, two, three. Four. Oh, before we got the fourth one, there was a mud bomb that went off. So we got like three in, and then before we got the fourth one, he got his mud bomb off. Boom. So there we go. So that took like four. Um, you see, it was really, it was really fast. It was way faster than the nine tails. Um, but watch this. Here comes our part of our. I said maybe. You'll be the curlier that saves me. Let's count. And after all, you're my Guardivar. One, two, three. Before the mud bomb comes off, um, we take way less damage. And you can see Guardivar gets the Toxic Rope Gown in three. So the way I ran this simulation is just we're going straight up. If they were to, if you were to face a Toxic Croak and you both had two shields, um, who would be the first one to take it down? So it's going to be Toxic Croak, or it's going to, it's going to be Guardivar in that scenario. It's going to get, take the least amount of damage, get it down the quickest. Your opponent doesn't even get a chance to get the Mud Bomb off in that situation. So especially if they don't know that they're about to take that damage, if you just bring in the Guardivar real quick. You might be able to just down it before they even get a fast move off or a charge move off because they might not be paying attention. So yeah, I like Waterfar as an amazing Toxic Croak counter. In fact, the premier Toxic Croak counter. But that doesn't mean that Venomoth and Alone Nine Tails aren't great counters. They both have other things that Guardivar doesn't have. We'll go into that in other videos just uh, casually. I don't want to make this video too, too long. But um, yeah. They have other situations where they can um, shine as well, you know, you're not always just going to be facing just a Toxicroak with um, two shields. So next, we're going to go into a match against Andy. Yeah, but uh, real quick before we do that, like situations where, um, you know, Ninetales could be a better um, Toxicroak counter if, um, you know, there's no shield situation and you brought your Ninetales in at the beginning maybe, you um, got like um, a Psy Shock ready to go, then took it out and brought in something that was resistant to your opponent's lead Pokemon, so that way, um, you know, maybe they'd want to, ch um, you know, maybe they're down their Pokemon, or maybe, you know, you'll end up losing that Pokemon, taking their Pokemon out too, but you'll lose a little bit there, but later, you can come in with that lower nine tails when they have no shields and they have a Toxic Croak, because you're going to know if they have Toxic Croak in their six Pokemon or not, so you might be able to guess if they use it or not. So anyways, yeah, so then later you can bring it back in, have that Psy Shock ready, and just instantly, 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 boom, Psy Shock, and it's it's gonna like it's gonna one shot the Toxic Croak. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna go down. So anyways, let's watch real quick a battle with our guy Andy Pansy. And this one we are not using on um, Guardivar. We're gonna have Venomoth as the Toxic Croak counter that we had brought in. And you're gonna see more of like a real life situation of where um you know you get to see a Venomoth versus the Toxic Croak. So here we start out, we got the Houndoom versus Sableye, which I like that matchup personally, because um, I have the fire fast move on the Houndoom. So, um, yeah, it's, you know, 
It's going to be taking decent damage, and we're not going to take too, too bad of damage ourselves. And we're going to go ahead and shield here and just fast move the save light down. We're going to be saving... Um, we're going to be saving our charge moves right now. And here we go. We have the Fable, which um, is not um, ideal for using this foul play, but you know, we were already going ham doing it, so might as well. So now we're going to go, and this might not have been um, the most ideal switch to. Or was it? Yeah, because I have Poison Sting. I have Poison Sting, or the, the Poison Fast Move on my Toxic Croak, and then the other two charges. Um, you know, the fighting and the mud, the ground. Um, because then I have like three different things and I can, you know, this fairy will hurt my toxic growth. So, you know, we have something to counter them. So there we go, we take down the like, Fable. Um, I use my shield. And yeah, now we have the toxic croak. And sorry, I missed a little comment in there, but you could have watched it. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and mud bomb this thing once real quick. And the thing about switching in, but we're like, nah, let's, um, let's go toxic croak for toxic croak real quick. We're out of shields. We're gonna we we just like, yeah, we'll just, we'll just stay in real quick. And so we'll, we're letting our toxic croak go down. And now we're bringing in our guy Venomoth. And you'll just see real quick one, two, just three quick hits, and he doesn't even get the other mud bomb off. So you can even bring it in um, where Toxicroak probably had a little teensy bit of energy, possibly build up to the next mud bomb. Maybe not. If he didn't, um, you know, we did come in and got him down um, before he got a chance to use the next one. So yeah, there is um, the best, in my opinion, um, Toxicroak counter. Um, Guardivar does it the fastest, but the other two are really great as well, and um, they're going to do really good against a bunch of other Pokemon as well. I'm not saying they're all three on a team, but yeah, I'd say you want to get like two of them on your squad of six, and probably run with one of them on your team, probably the Venomoth or the or the um, Guardivar in my opinion, um, but yeah, you know, I don't know what your team count's going to be, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, I hope that this is very informative, hope that it helped you out in your preparation for the Twilight Cup. If if it did, make sure you like um, the video, share it with a friend, subscribe, um, help the channel out, help your boy out by showing us some love. Um, I feel freaking loved and appreciated. That's what the F is for. Man, F baby is not for the future of Pogo. Although some people say it, I don't like to say that. It makes me sound conceited. I don't, yeah, I don't, it sounds weird saying that. But it's for feeling freaking loved and appreciated. And I hope you do too. Thank you so much. We got more Twilight Cup summon. Twilight Cup stuff coming, so stick around. XOXO, have a good one. Peace out.